here's my latest challenge, trying to get electricity to this shore power port on this trailer. So I've run underground feeder cable that's going to come up this 4x4 four four out of a hole I've dug in the ground and hit rock, but the hole is too far away. I'm going to have to bring it closer. This will run up conduit up the side of the pole and then come up into this box through conduit attached to the pole. Now, because I ran feeder cable underground, I couldn't find this anywhere. I was able to find 12 inch ones that were really solid and wouldn't twist or be flexible. It seems like everything online or in trailer stores or whatever want to sell you 30 foot, 25 foot, 50 foot service cables. I couldn't find a 50 amp male to 50 amp female. The reason being I want a short one like this is because my service cable is coming up out of the ground. This only fits in here one way. Right, it fits in like this. Only one way. Come on. How do you fit in one way? This way. One way. Right? And then it turns to lock. And it turns to the right. And this sleeve spins on here to lock it and make it watertight. So this only goes on one way. My dilemma is getting it in this box. Now I have a surge protector that's going to go on here between this plug and the box. It's about three inches thick. So this ground plug is on top and the ground plug is on top here. Well, I'm, the ground plug is on the bottom unless I turn it around this way. Now I don't want to twist it this way because it'll untwist it. So I want to twist it this way. I want to plug it in because it has a handle on it. This box is never going to close. But what I will do is just build an enclosure over this box. So that's my challenge is to reposition my 4x4 and plug this in here. I got neighbors coming. Here comes uh, my, my electrician friend from Covington. Is he going to stop? Nope, he's going up to his mountain home. So, yeah, this is a challenge. This has been a little bit of a. Uh, jigsaw puzzle but I definitely have to remove my remove not remove replace my 4x4 into a different hole which is under here and it's about to rain hard for the rest of the day so let's see where I can get from here this is how you pour cement redneck style I had to dig another hole and get my pedestal closer to the trailer pulled out another couple big rocks I don't know what this is. This isn't a rock. This is something man-made, a piece of steel or something I found down there in the dirt. So, looks like this is going to go on here like this. So I guess I can pull this out. It's starting to drizzle a little bit. Maybe I better leave it on there for good measure to test it. I got rainwater that I collected because I don't have running water here. So I collected some rain off my roof. I'll pour some of that down in the hole first. Then we're going to add a little cement right from the back. Side. Make sure I'm plumb. And square. I want to be square this way. And darn, I think I wanted this over a little bit. Good luck pushing that now. I guess the big thing is, is to be plumb.
pretty plum there. Let's mix in what we got. Good old rebar. A million uses. Go a little bit more cement. That's how they say it in the country. Cement. Concrete. Let's hold that for a bit. Go a little more this fresh country water. Make sure I'm plumb. Starting to rain a little bit. I'll cover this in plastic for the night. cement feeling a little watery what do they call that slag I don't know I'm gonna stay a little low on this side because that's where my wire is coming up check my plumb Pretty much the same way I set my mailbox across the road there. I need a little more of that country water. Then I'm going to get my bag of cement out of the rain so I can use it at a later date. once again. She's looking pretty good. All right, I'll let that set. Get this out of the rain. Get my cement back out of the rain. Hopefully have this hooked up soon. Waiting on the good old state of West Virginia to run me power so I can plug my home in and have electricity and start making music and stuff like that. All right, here comes the rain. I wanted to do a quick update because I don't have a lot of daylight left. Got a lot done today and the past previous days. Worked a little in the rain. And it's cold out, so I haven't been filming much because I wanted to get this done. So I got my pedestal in, got my box on. It's not exactly square as you can see, but it'll work. So I'm getting ready to put this pipe in here. Got a little pigtail bend on there. It'll go in here. 
and run my wire up and then I'm gonna wire my box and I'll be connected for power. So hopefully I can get this all done before dark. If I have to, I'm gonna put lights on and work out here in the dark because I wanna get this done. And I'm only here for a couple more days before I go up north for a week. So waiting on the state to put power in here and they're waiting on me to get this done. Well, I'm waiting on me to get this done. They'll put the power up anyway. Seriously running out of daylight now. I've been fighting with pushing this wire, cold wire through this pipe. And I got her going now, but it still fights. <laughs> It'd be nice to have another pair of hands. It almost wants to get pushed. Alright, if you want to push, I can push. Not a little bit here. I think that's about it. Alright. I should just cut this. But I'm like paranoid about cutting it before I know the length. But I know I'm not going past here. I should just cut it. I, I brought a hacksaw because I don't have a power tool out here. I guess this should be enough. Let's see how easy it cuts with a hacksaw. about a vice. <laughs> All right. That's some heavy duty stuff. 6 gauge wire. So now it's a tricky part. Gotta kinda bend this back a little bit to get some leverage. Am I gonna get enough? Yeah, I should. Every time this box closes, it's got a little latch out here. make it easier when this is all cold and hard. At least when it's hot out, the plastic's a little more pliable. Now the trick is to pull this back. Gotta push a little more up the pipe. Stupid me. I got my lock nut on here. Ha 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 ha. Now I gotta pull this wire all the way back through, take the lock nut off, put the nipple up through the hole, and secure it. So that's what I'm gonna do. 
live and learn. So of course I redid it to uh, correct my mistake. I wound up pulling the wire out of the box and then removing that lock nut from the nipple that goes into the box. Put the locking nut over the wire and secured it on the inside of the box where it should have been in the first place. I didn't videotape anything because it was too cold and it got dark fast and I wanted to get it done. But I did go a couple hours, I guess, uh, stripping wire and fighting with the wire to get it inside that box and connected to that receptacle. So I was glad I got it done and finally went inside and got warm. What a difference a day makes. I was out here for two hours in the dark last night. It got so cold I couldn't hold tools. So I called it quits, but I got it wired up proper now. So now I'm just waiting on the power company to drop my pole over there and I'll have power to this trailer.